I can do something similar even with a tight lie. A sand wedge is a very unique club. It was invented by a fellow by the name of Gene Sarazen. He used to take flying lessons. And most of the older players at that time used a niblick, which was similar to a nine iron, to pick the ball out of a bunker. Because it was a very, very narrow bottom on it, not like this one. This is called the flange. And this flange is different than all your other clubs because it has an angle on it. That angle allows this club to bounce. So guess what they call that? The bounce of a sand wedge. So if you look at a club, they go from anywhere from 10 degrees to 18 degrees of bounce on the club. The degree of bounce allows you to do certain things. Some wedges are better for very tight lies. Some wedges are better for sand. The more bounce you have, the easier it is to get out of the sand. It might be a little difficult though on a very tight lie because it's going to want to bounce so much. But by opening this club up, by rotating your arm, your forearm and hand this way, you bring the bounce into play. Very critical. Because if I come down and the club is square, it digs. That leading edge is very sharp and it wants to dig. But if I open it up, now if you look at it on my hand, you can see there's a gap between this leading edge and my hand. If I bring it flush, it's straight on, you can see that. But if I turn it this way, I'm actually hitting off of this part, the bounce. So now, when I hit this shot, I can actually hit almost a half inch behind this ball. And I'm not going to dig. I'm going to hit a half inch and I'm just going to slide right underneath this ball. If I do it properly. 